All right, guys, welcome back to another episode of 5 Minute DD. Today we're talking about Cogent Communications Holding Incorporated. This is ticker CCII, traded on the NASDAQ. Um, for those that are new to the channel, this is a series where I jump in, do a bunch of research, um, find a stock, read their earnings, all that kind of stuff, find one that I like, and then I talk about it in five minutes. I'll try and keep it to five minutes. Sometimes it goes longer because there's a lot of information. Um, CCOI is a company that I did not know about um, until about a couple months ago, and I've been following it since, and it has been pretty beat down, but I will talk about all of that. Let's jump into what I like about the stock first. Um, quickly, if you do find this information useful, please like the video. That really helps me out, and consider subscribing if you want to see more of these. I usually do like one of these videos, a couple of them a week. So let's start with this dividend yield. This one is a dividend stock. I've done a couple other dividend stock five minute DD videos. You guys can go check those out. This 7.11% dividend yield is pretty good. In my opinion, it is relatively beat down at this point. I mean, it's down 30% on the year. So the dividend is reflecting that. So if the price does start jumping up, the dividend yield will probably fall. But there's a lot to say about this company and the dividend yield. And they don't really talk about it much in their earnings, which is where I'm pulling this information from their Q2 2022 earnings. So it is rather interesting to me, but we'll talk about that. So it is a global internet provider. So they're based in the US, but they do provide internet in some 50 plus countries, which is impressive to me. And it's nice knowing that they are spread all over. Global network carrying 20% of all internet traffic. So that is an insane amount. You know, these are this is a company competing with AT&T. So it's not really like the big dog in the fight. There are a lot of other companies that are large as well. So it, it doesn't control the whole market but it does have a substantial amount, which I was surprised to hear. I did not think that they would have that much, you know, competing with companies like AT&T. Um, the compound annual growth rate is 8.5%. Typically, I like it to be a little bit closer to 12 to 15, but I usually invest in aggressive dividend stocks, and this one's not quite as aggressive, which can be a negative and a positive. It's going to be relatively consistent, in my opinion, once we come out of this bad market. So the dividend record, Cogent has increased its dividend for 40 straight quarters sequentially and hasn't cut it since 2015. So I am going to go to NASDAQ.com on this site, and we will talk about their dividend. This is not quite updated yet, 7.7% um, dividend yield, but that's $3.62 a year. So we can see on this side, this is the cash type. So they don't do special dividends often. They're going to be paying out quarterly and they're really consistent paying out. We can see it going back all the way 19, 18, 17, 16. And then down here in 15 is when they cut their dividend for the first time from 42 cents to 34 cents. So since then they have been growing it pretty nicely. You know, it went from 34 cents to what it's trading at right now, which is 90 and a half cents. That is a pretty good leap. And that shows that they have been working on their dividend a lot. And that's why I was surprised that they didn't talk Talk about it as much in the earnings it's only mentioned like twice which is really surprising to me because a lot of people i thought would be investing this because of their dividend but i really do like seeing that dividend growth it's a very important part of dividend stock if you see a dividend stock with an insane yield make sure you're looking at the growth of the dividend it's probably in my opinion the most important thing that in their max chart um, so we'll jump to the max chart real quick we can see it was doing pretty rough. I would not have purchased this company before 2008, bouncing around a lot, but since then has had really consistent growth, which I love to see. You know, just from the lows of 2008 to currently, it's up almost a thousand percent. So you're 10xing your money over a span of wow, 13 years, more than that. So pretty good, pretty good um, price appreciation on that, on top of the dividend increasing, which is very impressive to me. Um, so we'll jump back in. So um, they bought back over 10 million shares, which is nice. I love seeing companies buying back shares, increasing the value of the shares that are still outstanding. Very um, impressive to me, especially when a company of this size does that and does it on such a large scale. They are a huge market cap of 2.45 billion, but that's not actually, that's not as big as I was expecting it to be. Um, I thought it would be around the six to $7 billion range, but you know, that shows that they do have some growth potential. Um, Management ownership. This is a very important part, probably one of the most important parts that you can look at when it comes to these type of dividend stocks. Senior management owns approximately 11% of Cogent and gets compensated primarily in stock. So the prim primarily in stock is interesting. That's good that they are getting a lot, part of their paychecks at least in stock, but that they own so much of it that really helps solidify that they are working to make the stock better you know they have they have some skin in the game they are not want this is not like a pump and dump this is a company that they've been working on for a long time and they're going to continue to try and grow it which i really like to see 
on top of that 7% dividend yield, you know, that's a really good yield, especially for a company of this size. When you're looking at like Johnson & Johnson, they have like a 2.5% yield. So that is a really nice yield and a relatively safe stock. Don't quote me on that. It could drop some more in this market. I'm not necessarily buying it today. I will be watching for it to hit support, see what happens there. Um, but then let's look at this list right here, consistent return of capital modest leverage. So this is them buying back shares, the percentage buying back shares over the past couple of years. So that has been growing, which I do really think is important. And then of course, this is their dividend. So like 2013 was when they really started uh, vamping up the dividend as we saw. And so it, the dividend is going up. They haven't been buying back as many shares, but that is okay because they it shows that they're still doing it, which I think is very important. And I think 2022, since we haven't finished out the year, maybe they will be buying back more. I can't quote that. I'm not sure, but there is some potential for that. That's what they're planning on doing. So I wouldn't, I wouldn't be looking for that. But this is a very interesting chart, and it shows that future-wise, the future is looking bright for this company, in my opinion. Um, let's go down to the cons. There are some cons with this company. Corporate revenue growth is down since the pandemic. So the pandemic crash destroyed a lot of companies um, pretty badly. You know, Cogent didn't react terribly to it, but they did lose a lot of revenue with corporate growth. You know, people are working at home. They're not in the office. And so you don't need to be paying for, you know, a huge company like Cogent for all of their services when people are spread out and using their own Wi-Fi at home. And they do work a lot in um, corporate settings. That's where they do make a lot of their money. So that's why it's down. But there is some bounce back potential as people are going back into the office. 43.48% down from the five-year high. So the five-year high was almost $90 and we're at 51. So it is very destroyed, but on the five-year chart only down 3%. So that shows that it did have an insane run and has since cooled down quite a bit, down 30% on the last year, 30.7%. So a little bit beat down. I think there's so much potential with this company. It's not one that's going to triple in the next 10 years. But I think that once we do see some solidification in the price, I, I'll be looking at it at about a $45 range. Um, that would be a good buy-in for me. If it does fall through this 45 support right here, or even down to 41, if it fell through that, I would not be in because it was just it's showing a more downward trend. So again, if you guys found uh, value in this video, please leave a like and subscribe. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you guys think of this stock. Is this one that you would consider purchasing? And drop some comments about the next stocks that I should do. I'm always looking to uh, research new stocks. I love doing this. So please drop a comment for that. And again, it's not financial advice, but I hope you guys had a good day trading in the market.